able to copy the entire yeah. dashboard? You copied it? Yeah. Did you go and paste the little bottom arrow and then paste special? Okay, let me go to paste. So right, that little arrow. Here. Yeah, you click on a little arrow beneath paste. Let me see where I don't see it. Uh, it's in the home wait. tab. Home. Oh wait, where did it go? Under the home tab. Right. Okay. It's right. It's a uh, more farther farther okay. left. I have it. Yeah. So they click on that little arrow and should say paste special. I got it. Okay. Uh. Okay, now you're in a space, paste special. Can you click on paste link? Paste link. I got it. Yeah. And then click on Microsoft Excel worksheet object. I did that. Okay, now I'll just click OK. It, it, it pasted in there. Right. So yeah, now you basically have it pasted in here. And you can maybe adjust it to fit properly. But that's kind of what I'm saying. Some people are a little bit disappointed that it's just sort of a layer. You know, it's basically just sort of a layer. But technically, it's integrated. And now if you want to manipulate your data, you know, you can just do that by, um, right, let me just arrange this. Wait, let me see something. Go back to where you are. Because right. when you said manipulate the data, you're manipulating the data within the, within the PowerPoint? No, the other way around, from Excel. See that? Okay. okay. I have to move my step up. So yeah, I see it. Yeah. See, so that's uh, it. Basically, just uh, mirrors exactly what you do. So let me just reset everything here. Oh, so I go, I'll go do what you did. So if I go to Excel and manipulate the data on Excel, it will manipulate right. on PowerPoint. Right. Exactly. That's sort of how this works, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. See, now everything is, see if you want to emphasize products that aren't as popular. See, here's the popular. If you just want to emphasize popularity from 28 to 60, then just hit Control, click from 28 to 60. Yeah, see, 28 to 60 says that there. On the left, see the, uh, the on the x-axis, on the x-axis, the left gauge here. See, it's uh, up to, it's up to 60, yeah, it's just up to 65. Um, has all, see, and that's basically the CD, the newspaper, the audio tape, and the magazine. And obviously that's reflected in your PowerPoint presentation. Now, if you want to increase the popularity, you know, just, just control click on 70. See, now you have, yeah, see, now you have the popularity up to 80. So and whatever you, I do from Excel, Excel is going to do yes. that. Basically, the way you have to think of this is that, you know, you don't even have to necessarily think too much about the PowerPoint. You can basically just focus on the Excel, and you can proceed from the Excel worksheet, you know, this is your point of departure, and whatever you do here will definitely reflect, see, on your PowerPoint. So you don't even have to worry too much about the PowerPoint, really. Um, so if you, want to reset, if you want to reset all the filters. See, the reason why sometimes there is no behavior here is because there simply aren't any items that reflect these values here. So let's just see now I reset everything and now we have almost everything. Yeah, we pretty much have everything back. Um, let's reset the popularity too. See now we have everything back. See if you want, uh, just focus on the revenue without the popularity. See the reason why sometimes you don't see anything here is because there's no real item that fits that correlation between popularity and revenue. So let's just filter with the revenue, just from, from 170 to 8, 854. So control click, control click. See, now we have 170 to 559. Uh, that's basically, that's basically all of, the, we basically have all of these See, now we have 
Yeah, see, now we have 656 to 1,615. It's basically the blue ones selected. Yeah, the blue ones are the ones that are selected. See, if you want... So if you want just 170 to 854, you need to unselect these. They need to be in white. So when, when, when you select, select them or unselect, unselect them, them, where do they go? No, they're basically just dormant. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're just and then you can you can reselect them. See now oh, we I have it yeah. changes the pie chart. Right. See now we have 170 to 656. You see you see that here, and in that range uh -huh. we have four but not five. We have four products that created that revenue, but see the mm -hmm. one that's missing is a puzzle because the puzzle generated more revenue. So we can see how much okay. the puzzle generated even more. So yeah, see now the puzzle. So the puzzle generated um, 1,200. See the puzzle is the, uh, see this is kind of small. You can increase the size. I think you can increase the size by clicking this. All right, it's cancel. Uh, by, and then you right click on puzzle. You right click. And then you go to font. See, and then you can increase the size. See, increase it to 20. And well, now it's all the way at the bottom there. Yeah. See, it's, it's too big. <clears throat> I made it too big, actually. Yeah, it's this one, right? XTLM. Link it. Now, let's make sure that here we can see it properly. Okay, see, now we see it. See, and you can make it bigger that way. And uh, you just uh, see if you do, click on table, that little arrow, okay? Insert spread Excel spreadsheet, you can do that. It'll insert an entire X, see, it'll just insert like that, an entire spreadsheet. And You can expand it. Should be able to move it to a moment. Yeah, move it like, see, you can move it. And now you can technically also, uh, if you select it, yeah, see, now I selected it. Now you should also be able to insert the object right into the spreadsheet and that might make it a little easier. So this is the one. Link to file. Now uh, display is icon. No, I don't think you need that. Just link to file. Yeah, this is maybe a little better. See that if uh, if you have it pasted directly into a PowerPoint. Is maybe a little clearer. To adjust the size. Yeah, I think that's a little better, right? See, so see now you can also. Apparently, you can actually increase the size of the entire spreadsheet, too. See, and then <laughs> you have it like that. So you can increase the size of the entire... So you can basically manipulate it twice, inside the spreadsheet and outside. See, and then you can 
you can insert an object here, insert uh, insert, see a text box for instance. Insert text box. So you can insert a text box and you can now and then you can annotate it. Um, See, that's sort of, uh, you can either do it statically where you just copy and paste.